I'm Gareth Ross, I'm the owner and founder of uh, Build Media Limited. We are a 10 person company which produces uh, 3D visualisations for the building industry um, here in New Zealand and Australia. I would say we're relatively high you know, usage of the internet. Uh, we, we use it on a daily basis, all of our systems are actually online and in the cloud. Uh, we use the internet a lot for uploading and downloading you know, animations and work to our clients. We're finding that over the years the existing copper network has been slowing down a lot and it's been quite unreliable. It just can't be trusted. We really wanted to get UFB for the speed. Um, foremost, uh, secondary would have been uh, the reliability. We need to step into the future and have a reliable solution going forward. That opens up a lot of other options for us in the future, potential voice over IP, potentially working remotely. We just can't effectively do that right now. If you're wanting to get into fibre, I'd, I'd suggest doing some searches for a internet service provider that can offer fibre. I would have a look through their plans online as to what their costs are, compare them one with each other. I would also go to the Chorus website and go to the map and actually see whether, whether fibre is available in your area. The range of um, our packages that I had to choose from were um, basically the um, 10, 10 megabit up and 30 megabit down or versus the 100 megabit down and 50 megabit up. Obviously we went for the higher option and as far as caps go we had our um, provider build a custom solution for us. The process for any business getting fibre installed is really straightforward. Here at Build Media there are four tenants at a part of the building. That means we just have to get permission of the building owner or landlord to install the basic infrastructure for fibre. All we do is bring fibre from a place in the street through into the building and then from the entry point of the building through to the right room, which is typically a server room or where you might have your POVX. There are two things that businesses can do to make the installation process as smooth as possible and have the least, least interruption. First thing is um, talk to your landlord in advance. Talk to them about the, how easy fibre is going to be installed and how important it is for you as a business to have fibre to make you successful. The second thing is to think about the IT changeover and talk to your IT provider about getting them ready and on site to manage any complications or transitions in your IT systems. We've had ultra fast broadband for two weeks now. Um, it's been fantastic. Really has changed our changed our lives. Um, the problem we had before of uploading files has just just disappeared. Okay, we're staying the speed test. As you can see that's upload. So if you compare, yeah, yeah. results. That green line there is the global average. Yeah, we're about probably 10 times faster than that global average of an upload speed. It's amazing. In the installation process, I think, went pretty smoothly. There were a number of contractors that were involved. Uh, there was an initial contractor that came through to install all the cabling, all the hard, hard cabling. We then also had another contractor involved to actually do all of the wiring. I mean, all up, it would have taken probably about a week and a half. There was no interruption to consider with our existing internet service. Um, it was just a simple switch over. I think we're comparable actually. It's, it's, it's pretty much the same monthly payments that we were paying previously with Copper. Uh, if your business relies on the internet at, at all, even if it's yeah, emails or website browsing, I mean if you've got fibre in the street, you'd be silly not to take it up.